This video is brought to you by WatchReviewBlog.com and WatchPod, specialty watch accessories for enthusiasts. Please don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for video updates. Welcome back guys. New watch for you today. This one has been reviewed to death, but I thought I'd share my quick perspective anyways. This is none other than the Seagull 1963, and not the kind with wings. This is the mechanical hand-wound version with the ST-19 movement, including the swan neck. As many of you already know, this is one of the best budget watches you can buy, coming in at around the $250 to $350 price point. It's a very, very impressive watch at this price point. So much so that you probably won't find any competition anywhere near it, unless you venture up to the $1,000 mark. This is considering its really fantastic and intriguing movement with the column wheel that helps operate the chronograph function. Leaving the movement aside for a moment, which is really the watch's highlight, the rest of the watch is equally as impressive in my opinion. The dial we have here is the original cream colored dial, which to me appears more like the color of wheat and less towards an off-white hue. The dial is very interesting to observe, it has a very unique and intelligent layout. It's simple, yet refined and intricate at the same time. You'll notice the dual subdial counters are very spaced out from each other. This gives the dial an airy open appearance, and the font chosen for the numerals along with the styling of the hashes really play well together and provide an authentic vibe. Another really neat thing about this dial is the use of the applied Arabic numerals. They provide a depth and layer of luxury to an ultra budget watch. The watchmaking tolerances are also very impressive. Everything is lined up immaculately, and I see no obvious faults with the naked eye. The case of the watch, coming in at 38mm, is truly perfection on my 6.5 inch wrist. The one area I'd normally complain about here is the excessive thickness of the watch, especially since it's using a hand wound movement, which of course does not have the additional thickness from a moving rotor. But then again, have a look at the price tag once more, and it's really not a valid complaint. The rest of the case design is excellent, especially with the nice short curving lugs, and I really love the old school pump style pushers. This watch is oozing with character, and it gets even more impressive when you flip it over to look at the movement. This is hands down the most stunning movement I've seen at this price. It has blued screws and even some decorative engravings. One thing to note about this movement is that servicing it can be expensive, oftentimes costing more than a brand new replacement. It's really the only downfall. That's it for today guys. For more info, don't forget to visit our website at watchreviewblog.com. Cheers!